What's good, everybody? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode here on the channel. Man, I really appreciate all you guys on here. Thank you so much for being here. And we have another episode with my brother George making. I'm gonna let him introduce his channel and what it's all about. Go ahead, brother. What's going on? Uh, George making the George making experience channel. You know, we talk about a lot of different things. You know, you know, I'm I'm pro black, uh, a lot of uh family oriented. Married to a black woman for 16 years, raised raised black children, grandchildren, everything. So, my, I talk about family, current events. I also have a nonprofit, Urban Nerves Worldwide. Um, I have an Urban Nerves channel where we talk about developing young black children. So that's basically what I do on my channel, with, with both of my channels. Okay, okay. No, thank you so much for coming on, man. And uh, and and you know, obviously, we we have a lot of collaborations, me and you. And uh, it was a video uh that that i did it was in response to me, a conversation that me and rb the breakthrough had and the name of the video is called here is the real reason why attractive white women are competing for high value black men and that got me and you talking on the phone and it, which pretty much break down breaks down the conversation of this video uh why black men need to stop comparing white women to black women uh, what's the reason for for this conversation today um i think the reason for the conversation like i was telling you on the phone and i'm gonna be honest with you some brothers don't want to hear this kind of stuff from me it's like i could say everything that you say and they'll mm -hmm. disrespect me or tell me i don't know what i'm talking about uh because they look at me as a so-called pookie and ray ray even though i've been married 16 years hope you know on my own places my own children do I, I you know i lived a life at one time and i changed my life you know and i'm being the best version of myself at 45 years old but you know some some people just you know we look at ourselves we, look, we, we tend to look at each other through the same stereotypical lens that white people look at us through so if you say something they hold it at face value if i say something i'm a pookie <laughs> you know what i mean but the thing the thing is i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell the guys the same thing i told you on the phone that video coming from a person like you that is a pro mm -hmm. black you more pro black than i am i always tell you that on the phone you live in mm -hmm. africa you employ africans you don't swirl i don't swirl either but like you i never been to africa man you all through africa you got african employees you can't get no more pro black than that you know what mm -hmm. i mean you know you always helping brothers even the underdogs you know you give brothers like me that's a small channel of voice you know so no that's pro black um but a brother like you when you make the video like you did even though you don't swirl it, it, it the swirl the swirling brothers which mm -hmm. I, if you swirl that's your thing i ain't you know this that video is not about attacking brothers that swirl so mm -hmm. that's not what it is but you give what you do is you give ammunition to say that these white women are better than our women when mm -hmm. you yourself always preach that you'll never put no other group of women over your own mm -hmm. but when you make the statements that our women are not trained to look at an efficient black man they're not trained to go after uh a productive black men and what and you use it in contrast as to why they go after white women then is what they're going to take and say is see I, I told you we can't go with these sisters we got to get this white woman but the question mm -hmm. that i ask that nobody talks about an answer nobody talks about an answer and i want brothers to listen to what i'm saying these mm -hmm. white women that see that's trained so-called trained because that's the word we were using right they're taught to look at the good qualities in these black men who what type what type of men do these white women come from mm -hmm. see because if you look at a, a white woman an arab woman an asian woman who's raising these women what are the conditions or the situations in in america what what are the economic conditions of the men that these women come from the eyes that they're using uh uh to go and select these black men are these men and are they comparing these men to the men that they come from and now let's look at the men that a lot of black women come from because when you look at these Indian men, white men, Asian men, they run industries in this country. And they develop, they develop women to go after 
power and the type of men that will have power or economics. And in our communities, if we don't have black men working together to create power and economics, what type of women are we developing? What type yeah. of women are we creating that will go out to seek a to, to seek an e economically efficient man, black man? So I, I think I think that we don't do enough of talking about that because don't get me wrong, brothers come to an event and they talk about all these different things, and this ain't no simp video. This is a simp. This is a video. If we want to be technical. You make videos about black men working together all the time because we don't have no respect. Mm -hmm. Nobody honors a black man. Nobody cares about a black man. Well, this is this right here is a symptom of that. These women, our women, don't are not trained to look at a talented black man. He may be so-called corny based off of he don't have swag or pizzazz or this type of thing. Well, we don't have black men that run industries like that that's working together that can employ hire and fire employ with power so why would why would you expect black women to be trained to even understand it for that to be cool mm -hmm. so i mean that's just that's just the beginning you know what i mean you know based off the conversation that we was having let me let me talk about this because um in my video and i definitely understand what you're saying i was trying to basically show the paradigm that you know, because because you know how, how it is. You know, people think they all oh, just the BBC, the black men, all this. And I was talking about those qualities that you know women think this is a, he's a good man. Period. But you 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 kind of brought it home in our conversation that white you know when 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 white men when they're building these industries, they're putting those white women inside of those industries to run them right which then makes their femininity become a lot less i mean they don't have to be as masculine and have to have to stress because i do I, I will admit this um a lot, when i was in college a lot of african-american women in the same classroom as me we were both trying to do the same exact things meaning like what like they're like i'm trying to go get educated so i can go back and help my mom you know what i mean and i'm talking to her and she's trying to get educated so she can go back out and bail out her mom also right like so we're both trying to do the same exact thing. All women, all women was put into the, the, was taught to compete against the man. And whereas right. though these other groups and these other groups, they actually control their communities. They're ran right. by men. Right. The Asian community, men run those communities. The Arab communities, men run those communities. The African-American man is the most unique man on the planet. We talked about this yesterday. When has, in America, when has the African-American man ever been in control of his community without intervention from the white man, ever? When has he ever been in control of industry without having to? So the, all of this stuff plays a part when your women view a man. So this white woman, she sees an economically efficient man or society may call corny, but she might say, well, damn, he's like my dad. He's going to be powerful one day. I'm going to get with him. The sister might be like, man, this dude corny because in our community, man, unfortunately, man, a lot of intelligence is just not looked at as, as cool. And then answer this question for me, O'Shea. Because there's thousands of educated brothers, right? How come those educated brothers is not linking up with the educated sisters that's just like them? The build communities. Well, you know, the thing is that from what I've seen, and I'm not mm -hmm. saying this happens, and, and, and to be honest, you know, you live in Philadelphia, so mm -hmm. living in Philly, Atlanta, Baltimore, right. DC, those cities are a little, you, you have a lot of uh, successful blacks in those cities also. So, but what I see is a lot of times those successful black women are coming from the same environments as those successful black men and mm -hmm. black women tend to not saying all of them, but they tend to all like the same. They're, they're more similar. Like if, if a black dude is a educated black guy, he's much different than, you know, uh, the, than Pookie and Ray Ray where a lot of black women, in my opinion, they're not, I mean, obviously the educational level is different, but they like the same kind of culture, wear the same kind of hair, the same way, the same things, like the same sort of stuff. And what I've noticed is a lot of educated black women, once they get to the same level as the as the as the guy, many times can think that they're better than he is. Right. Um that that could what, what do you think about that? Let's do it. I I, I don't fully agree with that. I'm gonna tell you why. Let's okay, do it, let's do it this way. What I've noticed in the city of Philadelphia, which is one of the blackest cities in America, is right. you have a lot of educated women, right? Mm -hmm. But let's do it twofold. Something I said to you on the phone. 
Mm -hmm. The black man and black woman is coming out of the same house for the most part, especially us that's growing up in inner cities. And right. we, and based off of trauma and traumatic experience, we go get education and say we got to get the out the community. We right. go to school and we try to make the best of ourselves. But that black boy is growing up in the same household under that same mama as that black woman. So mm -hmm. he's no better than her when it comes to decision making. We got to get out of that bullshit because these Negroes off of YouTube, they come on YouTube and talk all this stuff, but they make just as terrible decisions as black women do. Mm -hmm. um, the problem that I see, this is the problem I see. Those educated lames, and I don't even like to use that term, so let me scratch that because I, I, black intelligent black people are not lames. Mm -hmm. Intelligent black men and intelligent black women, what I've noticed is when they get to a certain level of economics and education, they tend to marry out and not each other. You got thousands of black women that's that's what they would call educated lames that don't think they better than brothers, but they end up with white men or Asian men. They end up going to Cornell and going to these other places. And mm -hmm. I, I, when I'm in downtown Philadelphia, I see them. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, they be like, you know, um, when they at the barbecue with the black people, they talk like we talk now, they get around Bob and Tom, they turn right into a Becky. And they don't, they don't marry into, they don't marry back into that culture, their people. But the same, there's a lot of brothers that do the same thing. Those two groups, should be marrying each other, but they're not interested in each other. Now, you got, and now, and I, and my, I will prove it because you mm -hmm. got brothers like you, right? Mm -hmm. You educated black man. You went to Cornell. It's thousands of brothers and sisters like y'all. Mm -hmm. But even on that level, we're not getting along enough to want to be in relationships to marry. But we'll marry out. We'll pump and dump each other, and make babies, and still don't get along. So we got in, in today's time, and this correlates with, with the conversation. I'm gonna bring it right right home. Mm -hmm. We got thousands of educated black men and black women. We can't mm -hmm. just say the black woman is fucked up and the black man is perfect, and he just waiting for the black woman to get right. When she, we growing up in the same house. Like we got to get out of this shit because if the black, if us black men was perfect, we would build and we we would with all the education we got. What you say, we would already be building industries to get the respect that we get. Women respect power. Women right. Respect right. Women respect oh, that big my woman will mouth off to you and go to that job and shut the fuck up and work her eight hours, her nine to five, whatever, and get her paycheck. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't have to be subordinate to us because we not we don't have things built. This white mm -hmm. man, regardless of how he got it, he willing to kill the whole goddamn world for power and have everybody under him. These other groups come together, they work together in tandem to build industries, man. Mm -hmm. We the reason why. We had, in my opinion, we had the problems we have with, with, with a lot of our women because you're never going to get all women on board. Right. But the educated brothers have to work together to build industries. Yeah. Women by nature get on board. A lot of women will get on board. Mm -hmm. So if what this white woman is trained to look at to look at the educated brother because she's coming from a, a people as a whole, a people that own their own industries that own every damn thing. Mm hmm. So, so what, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, they have this function in their culture, but we still live in a white supremacist society. Mm -hmm. White people own and control everything. Asians have their own economics. You get with an Asian girl, for the most part, you can't be no bum broke ass nigga. Yeah, that's true. She's not going. She's not having it. Mm -hmm. Her family's not having it. Right. She can't watch this. How many times we hear, man? I'm dating this white girl. I'm dating this Asian girl. This Indian girl. Man, I'm. Her, but she can't take me to her father yeah it's, you hear a lot she can't take me to her father see these people when they come here they become their minorities and they work together economically to build yes. their shit, to build their shit. and it's ran by men i'm i'm just asking the men i'm because we got a lot of issues in our community a whole lot man and everything can't be the woman's fault every goddamn thing goddamn if our women, if our women is messed up and these women are so good that they know how to pick the right black man, the first thing I look at as a, as a logical man is I want to analyze where the type of men these women come from. Right. I agree with that. I want to look at the type of men these women come from. Then I want to look at the type of men our women come from. And then I look at the type of men that that white woman is, is associated with or connected with who runs industries. What position? What, what po type of power do they have? Mm -hmm. And you look at the black man. Today we got more uh, uh, degrees and all kinds of stuff.
but no power as a collective. Mm -hmm. And I just ask brothers, listen, you don't have to like me. You can say, George, you don't know what I'm talking about. That's fine. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is, I ask you this question, O'Shea. As a whole, if black men had more power, will we, will we have more respect of our women? Yes. That's yes. it. If we had more power as a collective, mm -hmm. will we have, and, and you, know, you know what's funny? I look at this on a, on, a, on a level of the community of the hood, right? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's sad because, see, I'm older and more mature now, and I see things differently than what I did when I was a kid, when I was younger. The drug dealer in the hood, in that environment, the reason why he gets the women, because the women look at him and see him as a sense of power and security. He got money, even though it may be short term, and I'm not saying that this is right, but he has the money, he has the power, he has certain things and women naturally gravitate towards that. So let's take that and flip that for something legal. The, a lot of our black uh, brothers like Gabe A. Imagine if you had a thousand brothers like Gabe A working together to build industries in the tech field and uh, uh, agricultural field and everything. And next thing you know, we producing a bunch of millionaires, a hundred thousand years that's controlling our communities. What do you think will happen? The same way the women gravitate towards the drug dealer, they gravitate towards the legal guy. But most of our guys are not visible enough to see where people, where young boys will emulate and girls will want to follow. We see the drug dealer. We see all the other stuff. So yeah, they look at what, what they look at what they think is cool. This is what's cool. The Chinese woman is looking at the man that own industries. She's looking at the man that 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 has um, his shit together. So. The, 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 the thing is, even the term, the, the BBC, the big black, right? The white man that monetized the black man's dick, put it on porn, and he making more money off the shit than the goddamn black man. <laughs> That's true. I mean, like, let's keep it a buck. You walking around like, yeah, they got the big dick. The white man like, yeah, you sure do. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas out there watch porn. Y'all watch them cuckolds. He go get the biggest black man he can find and have him totally just dismantle three white while he's standing in the corner and look and they record it and put it out to your ass and you think that this white woman wants you for your dick no they monetizing your shit they making money off that shit, that shit is an industry just keeping it real they mm -hmm. own the industries they even own the drugs we sell that the girls get they own that all that shit so what i'm saying is other groups of men seek power mm -hmm. so the women when they go look for men, they look for yes, men that have power. Right. That's what I'm trying to say. Those groups of women, you're mm -hmm. not gonna be no bum ass nigga just go think you gonna go be up in school and just go get an Indian woman. Mm -hmm. That ain't gonna happen. No. Not in America, not in Philly. No. You better have no. some money. Right. And your shit better be legal. Right. Let me let me let me let me cut into this because you know, you you're right, man. Like as a as a as a pro black myself. What you're saying is right, and the theory behind it is right. But unfortunately, we we live in a world where everybody isn't dedicated to the black community like me and you. Okay, and what people are concerned with is, listen, I don't care. It's the same thing with a black woman. When she meet a black man, and he ain't what she want him to be. She doesn't care that he got mommy issues for the most part. Mm -hmm. She don't. She don't want to know why he's not where he is right now. All she know is. He ain't what she need him to be. Okay. Yeah. That's 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 and the same thing as the and, and the thing about it is when it comes to the black women and, and the reason why I picked this controversial topic the way I did is because to help our the sisters that do watch the channel, some of them got real offended in the video. Mm -hmm. But see, this is why this is happening. So you know, because the, the, the guy right there that's went to Georgetown. He might not have the understanding of a of a of a George making. He he haven't been, he might not even be from he might not even know why it is the way it is. Mm -hmm. We know why it is the way it is, but he doesn't. All he know is you not choosing him for whatever reason. In in this this Asian girl is nice to him. This white girl is nice to him, right? That's the real reason. In, in the practical world, you know, it's, it's just like this. It's like you know, I, I've been to Africa a few times, and there's always the 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 the, the, the black American dude. That's the whole tip that's going out there preaching to the Africans about how they was conquered by the British or how they was conquered by the French. And the Africans are like, look, bro, I'm trying to survive. Like, how does that help me right now? You know what I mean? And I think that's the that's the case that I'm trying to point is that a lot of black a lot of black men right now are looking like, listen, all I know is right now, I understand why things are where they are. 
But, you know, the reason why I'm going to deal with her is because of this. So my, my question is this. For those people who, who understand the system of how we're going and understand where we are right now, you know, what is it that you think that slowly, because it's going to take time, right? And, and, you know, I'm using my platform to bring the brothers like you that's talented in the game to talk to our black men. A lot of black men are receptive, whether you want to believe it or not. When we, whenever we do a video, it's a long watch time, now, now right? Like me, I'm a simp, even the, even even though, I, even though I ain't shooting nobody, I'm a happily married man raising children, <laughs> going by and by the hall. I'm a simp <laughs> for some reason. I don't know. You always go and look at the the, the five comments roasting you, and, 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 and you know you, you you the other one. Yeah, George. Yeah, George. Yeah, George. You go look at the ones that. I'm not out Oh man, shit. you call me. You see that yeah. one dude in the, out of the thousand comments I got positive. Yeah, man. Yeah. That one brother, man. He I ain't out me pumping. Shit, man. I'm whooping his ass, man. And dumping. I ain't out pumping and dumping. I ain't on the welfare. I ain't doing none of that shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, but let me ask, let me answer that for you. Though. Go ahead. See, let me let me explain something to you about the system. Got the game checkmated for brothers, right? And brothers, a lot of our brothers. With all the education we got, we're not smart enough to understand the tactics. And when you see other groups come here, they come here cultured with an intact language, intact culture that dictates how they treat each other. They go and they do business with the system. We are descendants of people that we know our history. So here with us, because we we have we come from a fractured culture, the, we go and we the more education we get, the more distant we get from understanding who we are and what we're supposed to be doing for ourselves. Other groups come here. Other groups come here and they don't they're not affected by that. Indeed, the Indian, like I said, the Indian, the Arabs, they come here, they party for a while in college, but then they get their shit together and go build for their group and their community. My thing is, we know what happened to us. And we cry racism and all that kind of stuff, but we still look at other groups as better than than ourselves and our group. The only way we're going to fix the problem, what I'm saying to brothers is, listen, if you want to squirrel, squirrel. That's not my argument. So I don't need nobody leaving comments talking about, oh, he against. Listen, do what you want to do. That's not my argument. If black men want to see a change, we're going to have to seek power as a, in, as a group. That's the only remedy. It's no other way. It's nothing. You're going to have to seek power in a group. You saying, okay, I can't get with this girl. I graduated from Georgetown or I graduated from Bucknell or these or Colgate and you go get a white woman. That's fine. But it's but if you still a person that still love your community because you got a white woman, but you're still black from Southeast DC, your fa all, most of your family still live there. You still love your family. If you want to change the conditions of your community and the thought process of uh, of a generation of generations you have to work together and have power so people young men and women can see it and that's how you can dictate the behavior of your people we as men I, i'm taking women out the equation for a minute these women of other groups move in a manner in which they move because they men have power right power that's it man yeah we got a lot of educate educated black men but what type of collective power we have you see how the asians is getting shit passed immediately how they moving in, in the favor of, of asians oh yeah but, but the sad part is damn near all the power the asians got they got from black people from yep. the struggle of black people all the yep. way from frederick Douglass, all the way up through jesse jackson and the rainbow coalition and so many different movements i got a video coming out on that about the asian struggle and how they move but for some reason that never translated into power for black men as a collective we got black judges we got black lawyers black doctors black everything but how come a coalition of black men can't go into the government and just get something done on behalf of black on behalf of black men where it trickles down into the community and then we begin to dictate we don't got no listen we got michael jordan he owned a goddamn basketball team but he with a white woman i mean what I'm, what, I, what I'm trying to say, brothers, is the white man love his people enough to damn near destroy the white man out on the planet to force his his way of thinking and his laws. He even kill some of his own. He'll do what he got to do in order to have power. Mm -hmm. Chinese men, China, they, they're doing what they got to do to have power. What is the mm -hmm. black man willing to do to have power where he's respected by his women and the world? Well, no, that's a good point. But most people, this is gonna go over over the head of most people. They're not gonna get it because they mm -hmm. think that I'm not simple for women. I'm not even talking about women. My thing is what I've learned from my dad, which was a military man. You ain't gotta go after no women. Go after a power as a collective. Mm -hmm. 
quite see as as, as sadistic and f- as it sounds them gang members in la and chicago in the hood them young girls in the hood that, that that that's the only thing that they know is life in the hood they go after them gang members because unfortunately they're the ones with the power women mm-hmm. go after men in power no matter what situation or condition you in mm-hmm. all every power that women have they get it from a from powerful men yep. even even the women's liberation movement it's powerful men behind the scenes funding that and they're using these women to neutralize other powerful men yep even you talked about on the phone, like, let me cut you off, but you were talking about, you know, even the white women, they never have to see, you know, how, how the black women got to see the black man going to fight, walk, march for his civil rights. Oh, yeah. You yeah, mentioned yeah. that. Well, let's keep it a buck. Yeah. The white woman in this country, in this country, she never had to watch her men be hung from trees. She never, had, the white woman never had to watch her men beg another man for just to, for rights. No, she hasn't. So let's deal with the psychology that, 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 the psyche of the white woman versus the black woman we was we've been bred here man in this country on so many different levels to be apart from each other and the only remedy to fight it man is for brothers now with the education we have is to peep what's going on and to seek power i didn't tell you to just get with any woman just because she's black and just because your mama black you get with the women that get on board with your program the white man got the power he got the power man so whoever's whatever nation you're in whoever has power their women is always going to be the standard of beauty and the white man's economics is always going to be the standard of intelligence and everything else because he can hire and fire you at what point do we are we going to look at it and say okay i'm a black man i'm tired of working at his ibm i'm tired of working right. at at&t i'm tired of i want i want my own shit. i'm gonna get me some white employees and make them and, and condition their mind i'm gonna condition their minds to see me as the apex not them being a standard and when you have that you'll have women on board man Women, women by nature, women is a receiver of what you give her. She got a womb, she got a womb in the bosom, man. What you put in her, she gives life to it and give it back to you. You name it and claim it. And raise it. Come on, man. Like I'm just saying, man, like we as a as 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 as, as a community as a whole, educated that our de- a lot of our decent, talented black men and black women are married out. Marry out. And I, I don't I don't like to compare O'Shea men and women together the way women would do women do things a lot of emotionally how they feel men are logical we're supposed to look around and look at our situation and make the best for ourselves based off the environment we're in that's the nature of a man we're supposed to observe our surroundings and when we observe our surroundings whether you whether you are pookie and ray ray or a highly esteemed educated talented black man man black men are under duress we don't have no friend this white man ain't your friend he cool with you as long as you're working with him but but let let him one million black men in this country, out of the out of the was it twenty million black men? Let one million black men in this country decide to work together to compete against this white man. See how much friendship you have. See if he allow you to still sleep with his woman. We just had that issue. We just had that. What's that issue? Um, no, I will bring that up in another topic. I will bring that up in another topic with Kevin Samuels when when he went on there and checked those white women. And those, oh yeah, Rola Tomasi. Rola That's Tomasi right. and them had an issue. With the right. way Kevin Samuels was talking to those white women, because white men, white men, regardless of how much they think that uh, you think that they're your friend, they're never going, they're never going to be comfortable with you checking their women the way we check our women, because it, it it takes power away from them. And the thing is, what you noticed was these white women mouth off and have and do have a lot of same arguments sisters have, and they they was they and they giving them white women, them white men all kinds of trouble. Kevin went on there and neutralized and broke all that shit down. And the white men had a problem with that because a lot of these a lot of these people have a problem with white with black men being in positions of power right white men are not used to being told what to do by us well it's about time we change that narrative as men and get into position of power and use them as our footstools tell them what to do mm-hmm. because that's when a narrative will change man I'm not saying I'm not excusing no women's behavior and some of the things that sisters do. I see every I see the same thing brothers see. But I want to tell you, brothers, something y'all coming out of the same house that that sister's coming out of. We coming out of the same dysfunction. And the only way for the only way for us to change it is for us to seek power. Okay, I mean, it's no, it's there's no way you can get out of that shit. And brothers can tell me I'm wrong. That's fine, but I know I'm not wrong. Because one thing about women, women read the credits. They know who the producers are. 
Women, right, say it again. They didn't hear that. Say it again. Women read the credits. They know who the producers are. You be sitting there thinking like, man, I'm just an educated lame, man. I own, I own 15 industries. I'm a billionaire. Don't nobody know me. They know all the people that's on TV that I that, that I uh, fund. And you have a big party and it'd be a bunch of women. And you be like, how the f women know me? You'd be surprised, man, uh, female nature and what women do and how, how they, get, they get into parties and do all these things to seek and find out who the big boys are. Women know. Women know who the producers are. Women don't operate the way that we do. That's why I'm telling men, stop comparing yourself to women and saying, well, these women need to do this. No, stop talking about what women need to do. Can I get 10 brothers in the room and we do what we need to do? And then the women, most of those women to show up. And, and all you do is to say, oh man, no, I don't know. I don't want you niggas. You niggas can work for us when we build the industries. Y'all can just get some jobs. But real alpha male leaders don't complain about women. They work with brothers to get the job done. That's just what they do. You think Bob Kraft and and um, these these uh, billionaire white men sit around and complain about women? Do they do that shit, O'Shea? No. 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 They sitting around talking about power. You think these CEOs are sitting around complaining about women? No. So all I'm saying is, man, we got a lot of decent, well-educated, strong black men. Seek power, man. Just seek power. And that's all I'm saying. So I... The, the problem I had with that video was was it makes it seem like black people was born with one less chromosome than a white person. Like we have the inability to seek out intelligent black men, but the white women can. That's bull. Shit. White people ain't no better than us. The thing is, they run industry. They run industry. So they tend in their community, they tend to produce outwardly what we can see. Better product. Mm -hmm. They, they people was in power. Now they got just as much dysfunction as we as we do. But what I'm saying is, when they own all the colleges, they own all the sports teams, they own all the industries. What the f do you think? Can we can we get in line? Can we have our own Campbells? Can we have our own something that 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 we have that black people support? Can we have our own shit? Can we have our own another version of a Tyler Perry that don't sell out? That's, that's for black people that everybody want to be a part. Can we have a, I mean, is it possible, brothers? Can we build it? That's how you get your respect. I mean, that's all, I mean, that's basically what I'm saying, O'Shea. And it's basically in line with everything you always say, O'Shea. You come online all the time saying brothers got to work together. We don't have no respect. We don't have no power. I mean, you talking about these, they want to give black women $10 billion. Man, that's a direct disrespect to black men. Mm-hmm out of here you think white men if we was in position of power white men would be cool with us giving eight women 10 million dollars right the declaration of war they'd have told us man if you take that 10 billion and stick it up your ass. that's exactly what any other group of men would have said right but we're not in position where we ever been in control of our women so i don't even think psychologically we would even think to even say nothing like that but if you're right. a man from india where the men run the country if you're a man from any asian country where the men run the country no other group of men would ever even disrespect china to say we're gonna give your women ten billion dollars, because right. the Chinese government will say you send a dollar over here, we're gonna we're gonna send a missile back to your ass. Right. I'm just saying nobody would even think about, but we don't have to be respected because the black man here, unfortunately, as opposed to the African man, we was bred here. And I don't mm -hmm. think something BGS said too a long time ago. You know, being BJ, we disagree on things, but I agree with this part. He said. The black woman was was in this country was never bred to be one with her man. Mm -hmm. I mean, we go from plantations time all we do our struggle and our fight. When has the man black man ever been in control of industry to the point where we're in control of our women in our communities? You know, it's always been a struggle and a fight, and it's always, like I said, Mr. Charlie has always been in between us. When have we really been in, in between? The white man and his woman to the point where we have power we can incarcerate him create laws and do all kinds of things we can even create uh state laws to keep the black man under underemployed so now he's not reliable to his woman the white man been in a position of power to do that to us to our grandparents where we can't pass down generational wealth where we go to college today based off a sense of trauma our parents die we don't have they don't leave insurance policies all of that shit is there man all of that shit is there as to why um, a lot of our women make the decisions that they make, man. And all I'm saying to brothers, we want to change that shit. For those of y'all that care, we got to get power. And it's not going to happen overnight. We got to start thinking and, and, and um, 
terms of five, 10, 20 years, 30 years in advance. We want things to be different. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm about done. So for, for those people who want to subscribe to the George Megan channel, the Urban Nerds, tell them a little bit about, you know, what you got going on in the city of Philadelphia and stuff like that. Yeah, um, Friday, I'm gonna be in New York City in Brooklyn with my kids at uh, the Zyx Institute, uh, Q Butter School. We're taking our kids up to Brooklyn. Um, our, our whole mission is to take boys and girls, man. Let me just say this, I'm doing my job. Everything I said in this video, I'm trying to empower the minds of you of the youth young black girls and boys change their mindsets get them out of that gangster rap talk and thinking that nigga culture is black culture i'm trying to get change all that and and take it and let let them know their history of where the greatness that they come from and our struggle man to where we are today um so we take kids on college tours we working on getting scholarship programs to get kids into trade schools um we're going to be teaching financial literacy. We're going to have classes. We teach photography and arts. Um, we got a couple of things going on. Um, I go into the go into the prisons and speak to uh, uh, youth that's been incarcerated youth. And we work it out of um, a robotics uh, club with Drexel University. So, like, you know, we got a lot of different things going on, man. You know, I'm using this 501c3 uh, to my advantage for what I can use it for. I'm, um, I work with, I'm working with the churches. I'm working with the, uh, the Mize. You know, you can see the video, uh, the pictures uh, from my um, aquarium, my aquarium um, trip and my Academy of Natural Science trip. I got the pol police officers with me. I got a letter of recommendation from the police department. Um, I got the DA's office. We got the firefighters department. Uh, we take, we, oh, I'm also working with the military. Um, we're taking our kids on a military base next month. We're going to find out which base we can go to. So we're just trying to get our kids. Man, I had black kids tell me, O'Shea, that there was no such thing as black doctors. I almost cried, I couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. So for me, I'm not just on here talking shit on my soapbox, I'm doing something about, I choose to do something about it. Um, you know, uh, I, be I believe that my grandparents and great grandparents, they could have just cared about their children, but they cared about the community. Uh, our people do the movements for it every day. So you can go to Howard to get an education. They did a lot of things. So who am I not to do it? Who am I not to do it? You know what I mean? You know, so I just want to, I want to make, I want to produce better young girls and better young boys in the community. I, I want, I want to work to do that. And if you okay, and you want to help, man, you, can, you guys can donate to urban nurse worldwide. You can help. If not, then, I mean, you know, it's not for you. Fine. I'm not talking to you, but I'm talking to people that actually still care about black people. Now, that's all I'm saying. If black men want power, stop talk. Let's stop talking about women and let's let's talk about each other. Women gonna show up. Let's talk about each other. Uh, let's leave positive comments about brothers. Tell a brother, uh, 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 speak to a brother. Tell a brother you love him. There's nothing wrong with that. Start treating your brother right. Work with your brother. Trust your brother with economics. Let's build trust with each other. The minute black men start, the minute you start wanting for for yourself. The minute you start wanting for your brother what you want for yourself, watch things change, man. We got to learn to get along better. We don't get along on so many different levels, man. Just, I'll end it with this. O'Shea, you love your mother, right? Yes. You got a sister? Yeah, on my dad's side. You got you love your sister, right? Yes. I love my mother. I love my sister. So if I want for you what I want for myself, when I see your mother, I would give her nothing but the utmost respect, right? Right. Because I love my mother. And I know that if I want for my brother what I want for myself, you got to love yours. If we started looking at each other that way, just imagine what the black man can produce in every aspect. If I want for my brother what I want for myself, how can I ever see another brother in cursing or shooting or, 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 or doing wrong in the business deal? Want for your brother what you want for yourself, whether you in a boardroom or on a block. And watch how everything around you change because as men, we're born leaders. Some of y'all understand what I'm saying. Some of y'all won't. And if the ones that won't, you're just not ready yet. Those that are, if you were going to change, man, we can change this shit, man. You'd be surprised how fast we can change this shit. Want for your brother what you want for yourself. And treat another brother and his, and his, and his family the way you would treat your own. If we do that as a, as a collective, you'd be surprised the type of children and women we will produce as men. I'm done. All right, guys. So... Go check him out. First company to the top, George Making Urban Nerds. Uh, the cash app is there on the on on the on the screen there. And I do thank you so much for all that you do. And as you brothers know, the performance is the all time high. 
I'm out.